the next leg of our western adventure has us headed northwest to the Grand Tarhee Ski Resort in Alta, Wyoming. There we're in for an epic mountain biking weekend at the White Idaho Rendezvous. This ski resort turns into a mountain biker's paradise in the summer, offering over 70 miles of downhill and cross-country mountain biking trails. So we plan to spend the next three days here biking, hiking, and taking in the gorgeous views of the Grand Tetons. All right, so we're heading out of Pinedale today. We've got a short travel day, which is awesome. I like short travel days. Two and a half hours. We're going staying still in Wyoming, but it's a little town called Alta, Wyoming. But the first order of business on the trip is to fill up on gas. And we have to fill up because we're going to be boondocking, which means we won't have any electric hookups, any water, any sewer connection. But we're going to be running off of solar and the generator. And the generator runs off of the fuel in the RV tank. So we got to make sure we have enough gas. a lot of pretty drives that we go on around the country but I honestly have to say that this drive through Wyoming near the Tetons and through all these mountains is one of the prettiest that we've ever done. It goes along Snake River and it's a beautiful drive from Pinedale to Jackson Hole. got to the part where you know it gives you those signs that say steep mountain passes 10% and 10% percent grade. 10 percent grade. It's inevitable that you hit those across on Interstate 70, Interstate 80, through the Rockies you're going to hit some steep mountain passes. When you can avoid them to some extent, when we've been coming west we've been coming back and forth on 40. Interstate 40 doesn't have them but right now we're in the Grand Tetons like we've been surrounded with them for, for two weeks and so um, at some point you got to go up over them. Teton Pass. I knew we had to go over a mountain pass to get where we were going, but I had no idea it was going to be that steep. I think that's the steepest mountain pass that we've been on. 10% grades, like a mile on either side of the mountain, and of course, you know, switchbacks and turns. I'm not a big fan of that. We were going like around 30 miles an hour, both directions, up and down. Up, that's about all the motorhome could do, and then on the way down, I, I just didn't want to let it pick up any more speed than that. The uphill is fine, I'm, I'm not in a big hurry, but going down, I just, it's just scary. You know, the brakes, you know, getting, getting heated up as you go and trying to manage that, it's very stressful. So if we have to go back east on, on that route, uh, I'll find an alternative. <laughs> we can save, we can check off, we did the Teton Pass, but I'm not gonna do that again on purpose anyway. There was a sign for RV parking back there. We probably have to check in somewhere. We've got a weekend of mountain biking. It's at the Grand Targhee Mountain Resort, and there's a regular mountain biking festival there, and there's uh, an adaptive sports organization called Teton Adaptive Sports, and they have a big group ride thing all weekend. There's group rides, clinics, demos for different hand cycles and adaptive equipment that you can try out. Home sweet home for three nights. Good 
Okay, day one of the group rides, Saturday morning. We gotta decide what group we wanna be in. I think we're, uh, I think we're gonna do the downhill. In easy, I guess, what do they call it? Basic, easy, whatever. So what are your options? Downhill, and what else? There's Basic, beginner, and expert. Yeah, beginner and expert, and then cross country, downhill. So four groups. So I think we'll start to do a, the beginner <laughs> downhill today, this morning. And this afternoon, we'll try the advanced if they're too easy. Or maybe we'll try the cross country advanced or who knows. Advanced cross country should be fun. Yeah, the advanced downhill, you're not sure what you get into, but okay. advanced cross country. You guys got some pretty big mountains up there, so. Yeah. You think the Tetons? Yeah. Yeah. of the universe inside of me Help me beat the shit out of my evil blues I can't believe in five years of travel we've never done this before. I guess I had heard that ski resorts had hiking and mountain biking. But then again, Brian didn't have a off-road hand cycle until a year ago. So that'll be my excuse that we had not discovered how amazing this is before. So there's just three elks right down there. Startled me at first because I saw movement in the pine trees. There are bear around here. Getting close to elk migration season this week or maybe next week, they do close off some of the mountain biking trails. So I guess you have to check the uh, annual migration season where you're looking. Um, one thing I'm looking forward to is I'm going to ride a ski lift. Not just for the first time since I've been disabled, but I've never ridden a ski lift before. <laughs> I was never into skiing. But they have ski lifts that go all the way to the top of the mountains that are at like 9,000 feet. We're starting out at about 7,500 feet. So we're going to ride a ski lift and then mountain bike down. So it's going to be awesome. Have a good one, guys. Thank you. Ah, I didn't know I had that. Yeah, so that was quite the process. Uh, the other, the bikes that have the two wheels in the front and the one in the back fit on a little bit better. Uh, so it took a little time to get mine figured out, but we caused quite a backup. So this view up here is amazing. So now we've stopped on the way up for the, uh, the bikes ahead of us to unload. The lift is nice, it's convenient, gets you to the top easily. You don't have to pedal up or, or crank up. The other option is service road, which I don't mind pedaling up because I have the motor, but it was steep and with the front wheel drive on my bike, I was just losing traction. So I was reaching back and pushing the back tire with my arm while I was hitting the throttle with my other hand <laughs> just to get some traction and get up the hill. Hi puppy. Ha, ha, ha.